I'm Leanne Durrington and I'm the CEO of the WA Primary Health Alliance and for those of you who haven't met me or seen me before, uh, the WA Primary Health Alliance operates the three PHNs in Western Australia. And many of you will know that there was a mental health re review and a reform agenda that was delivered to the community and the sector last year. And resulting from that review were some changes for the primary health networks uh, in terms of implementing a stepped care approach to mental health. This is a significant reform, building on the learnings of the past, of course, but trying to realign the mental health system to respond to the emergent needs in the community. So stepped care for the PHNs means um, a realignment of the low intensity uh, part of the service system. And that system to date has really been predicated on um, referrals from general practice to um, ATAPs and to other services that could respond uh, locally uh, to people's needs. So I'm talking to you today just briefly about where we see ourselves heading over the next year in terms of establishing our low intensity mental health support service system. Predominantly for that, for us, this low intensity means high volume, fidelity, um, and a broad reach uh, to vulnerable populations for whom access to services may well be limited. And in saying high volume, that also includes a range of modalities, everything from um, a brief intervention over the phone through to some of the new and emerging e-mental health supports as well as face-to-face. -face. And the drivers of this are are multi-level. Firstly, we want to ensure parity of access between urban locations, regional and remote, and to ensure that that access is timely and as fast as we can make it so it supports the service user or the patient as fast as possible. And we also need to recognise that in the past the referral pathways have, have predominantly been from general practice. And while we will continue to do that, we will over time establish referral pathways from those organisations who are already working with vulnerable populations and uh, to enable that group who may not have a general practitioner but require a, a low intensity service so that they too can access assistance. I, I guess uh, our model it's important to say our model will evolve over time and we will engage the current provider system and the stakeholders as that model develops. But I guess we see ourselves moving um, from a, a single size fits all model um, to one that has greater diversity in it in terms of the treatment responses, treatment modalities. It's simple, it's easy and it's accessible. And that will mean change for the current provider system, particularly with the, the front door to that system uh, and through the intake uh, process. But we would hope it will build much more streamlined pathways as it proceeds. So we'll provide you uh, written updates as we proceed, but this is a forecast to say the things that are important to us are to improve parity of access to make sure we reach those localities where we know there's a high demand but people aren't necessarily able to access service. That we have a range of treatment options and support options for people who require low intensity services but we maintain fidelity and quality and streamlined access. So you'll hear more about this. This is an exciting opportunity for Western Australia Clearly we work in partnership with the Mental Health Commission and the range of other uh, commissioning entities and stakeholders, but we'll tell you more as this unfolds over time. So thanks for your interest and we'll look forward to talking more.